Do space heaters dry the air? This video is going to be for everybody who's looking to buy a space heater but who doesn't know yet whether it's good for their health. Maybe the air is going to be too dry. Maybe uh, they have to humidify the air and they are just overwhelmed by the question how does getting a space heater and running it in my room affect the room's climate? And the quick answer is that space heaters do dry the air or at least they reduce the relative humidity of the air. This means the following. Actually, the amount of water that is in the air in your room does not change. But since the air heats up, it is able to hold more water and this sucks away water from your body. Okay, so that's the quick answer. You can do some things about it, but that's going to be covered later. First of all, what are the physics of heating up a room? So think of a square room and you heat it up. Inside that room, there's a set amount of water and the room is fully sealed. Now, after heating this room up, does the amount of water in that room change? Of course not, since none of the water can actually escape that room. It is physically impossible to escape a sealed room. Now, because the air is hot, it wiggles around faster, it moves around, that's what temperature is, but the amount of water inside that room stays the same. But what would happen if we placed a bowl of water inside that room and the water inside that bowl is, of course, liquid and then we heat up the room? Well, still we have a fully sealed room, none of the water escapes the room, but the water from the bowl would evaporate because the water uh, be, because the air is hotter and it can absorb more water and hold more water and that's the key principle of heating a room with any kind of heater it does not matter whether the, whether it's a space heater or a gas heater or whatever or whether it's your central heating or a heat pump does not matter. You can think of your room as being this fully sealed system where nothing can escape and the water inside that room can't change because the room is fully sealed. However, the water that's available in liquid form, it will be absorbed by the, by the air because the air is getting hotter and hot air can hold more water and therefore it will absorb the water. And of course, with increasing temperature, the water will start evaporating. Now, this leads to an interesting conclusion. Actually, the amount of water floating around in the air does increase because more water evaporates from your body, from the plants in your room, from the wood of your furniture, from the floor, from the ceiling. Everything that holds liquid water will be a source of evaporating water and the hot air will suck the water away from it. So the absolute amount of water in the air increases, but because the air is so hot and it can hold so much more water because of its increasing, because of its increasing water holding capacity, the air feels much, much drier. So you feel drier, but it actually is not drier. And that's what you care about. You care about not feeling dry. You care about your skin not getting wrinkles or dried out. You care about your breathing not um, being too dry. You want a humid atmosphere. So even though the air in your room holds more water, it feels drier. And that's what you care about. So to conclude the answer to your question, it would be yes, space heaters dry out the air even though technically they don't dry out the air. And I find it quite interesting. And I find it quite interesting, the difference between the human perception and the actual physics. There's, there's the difference and yeah, this difference shows everywhere in life. There's always human emotions, human feelings, and then there's physics with the facts, but the facts don't matter because we still feel a certain way. And it's kind of interesting, also philosophically. But okay, this is just a video on space heaters and, and air drying, not about philosophy and technology. 
Okay, so what can you do about the humidity in your room when you get a space heater? Well, first of all, I would say don't worry, just get your heater. I always recommend all filled radiators or infrared heaters, but all filled radiators uh, are preferred because they are much more solid and last a lot longer. I will recommend you one in the description down below, my favorite all filled radiator if you don't have one yet. But okay, check it out. If you like it, then get it. I would recommend you get your space heater first and run it for an evening or two. Just try it out. And if you don't feel dry, then there's nothing to worry about. The space heater does not affect the room's climate for too much. That could be because you're already used to relatively dry air, because you were running the central heating on the same settings, um, matching the space heater settings that you are running right now, or for whatever reason, who knows. But it could also be that these that during these one or two evenings that you are trying out your space heater, you do feel dry. And in this case, I would recommend you get a humidifier. And I will also link you one in the description down below. But actually, it's a very simple thing. You can get any product. I will recommend you one in the description down below. But all humidifiers are the same, just as space heaters are all are the same. Humidifiers blow water into the air, space heaters heat up the air, so they are not very elaborate products and you can just get anything. And the humidifier will help you humidify the air, which is very comfortable for most people, uh, but I personally don't think that most space heater users really need a humidifier. So that's why I recommend just trying it out bef before you uh, get your humidifier. Alternatively, if you don't want to spend the money, the 20, 30 or 50 bucks for your humidifier, you can just boil a kettle of water occasionally, every half an hour or every hour or so. And this will also blow lots of vapor into your room and keep the moisture up. Also, I recommend regularly venting your room. Um, this adapts your indoor climate to the outdoor climate. Not temperature-wise, you don't want that, of course, but shortly venting your room um, will adapt the indoor humidity of the air to the outdoor humidity of the air. So that would also help with your room's climate. Okay, that was it. If you like this video, then leave a like and comment down below. Just ask me anything I will answer and subscribe to this channel. And see you next time. Bye.